Hi, I'm Paul Bryan. And I'm Brian O'Day. And on this CFM Maintenance Minute, we're going to be taking a look at Igniter Plug Depth Immersion. We've set up the camera beside the CFM engine to show the location of the right and left side ignition system. The ignition system components shown are the ignition lead and the igniter plug enclosed in the shrouds. Aircraft maintenance manual procedures exist across CFM models to remove and install the ignition system components, including the igniter plugs. The igniter plugs are installed onto the plug bushing or adapter, this bushing or adapter being threaded into the combustion case. During maintenance, after removal of the ignition leads from the igniter plugs, removal of the igniter plug shrouds, and removal of the igniter plugs from the combustion case, it is usually unnecessary to remove the igniter plug bushing or adapter. However, if the bushing or adapter is removed, aircraft maintenance manual procedures exist to validate proper installation of the igniter plug and the depth at which it is installed into the combustion chamber. This is because there may be gaskets of an AMM specified thickness located between the bushing or adapter and the combustion case that serve as a shim to control depth immersion of the igniter plug into the combustion chamber. Here we show the igniter plug bushing or adapters and gasket type examples that may exist within your engine fleet. You can validate the gasket thickness against the aircraft maintenance manual procedures by using a caliper. Proper installation of the plug into the combustion chamber or the depth of the proper installation is controlled by the number of gaskets installed between the bushing or adapter and the combustion case. Before installation of the igniter plug into the bushing or adapter, Install gaskets as required per the applicable CFM model aircraft maintenance manual procedures between the bushing or adapter and secure to the combustion case. Once gasket and bushing or adapter installation is complete, install the applicable depth gauge into the igniter bushing or adapter hole and into the combustion chamber. Per the applicable CFM model aircraft maintenance manual procedures, measure the gap between the bushing or adapter igniter plug seating surfaces and inside the engine on the outer liner of the combustion chamber, aft side and make record of the measured dimension. For CFM models, this is referred to as dimension Z. Since specific depth requirements exist, Compare the dimension record against the applicable aircraft maintenance manual model dimensional requirements. If the dimension Z limits specified in the aircraft maintenance manual are not correct, either add or as required remove gaskets from between the bushing or adapter and the combustion case to achieve the correct installation depth. This is known as depth immersion. Repeat the dimension measurement to validate the proper igniter plug depth immersion as required. Once the correct depth immersion has been obtained, reinstall the ignition system components and complete all aircraft maintenance manual repair confirmation procedures as required to return the aircraft to service. Install and properly torque the igniter plug. Install the igniter plug lead to the igniter plug. Using a backup wrench, properly torque the igniter lead to the igniter plug. And install the shrouds around the igniter plug with a shroud clamp.
That completes this CFM maintenance minute on CFM Igniter Plug Depth Immersion. For all you do to maintain our fleet, thank you.